In this video, I will show you how to do about mesh equations. So, we have the figure in here. In this one, I will put the circle. So, this one I will put I number 1, I number 2, and I number 3. So, that means we will have about 3 mesh equations. So, we need to know this one, the sum of the voltage in the one circle in here. There should be about zero so we go to the first one in here so we can see that we have this circle that hit about the sources and that is about the negative side in here so that means we have negative 18 voltage now we have i number one they go to the r number three and r number one in here so that means we have 2.2 plus 9.1 and we have I number 1. We can see that the flow they go in this way. But if we go to I number 2, they go in this way. So that means this one, that is the opposite. So that means we need to minus about 9.1 I number 2. And that means we have one mesh equation. Now we go to this one. So we can see that this circle, they hit a positive sign here. So that means we have positive 18. Now we have 9.1 plus 7.5 and 6.8. However, in this one, we have the opposite of I number 1. So we need to minus about this location that is about 9.1. I number one and in this one we have another uh, in here so this is the opposite so we need to minus 6.8 I number 3 And we have the second equation. And the last one, that is from here. So we can see that this one, they hit the positive side of the sources. So we have three voltage in here. And uh, we have R number two, 6.8. And we have 3.3 plus 6.8. Then we have the opposite in here. So we need to minus about 6.8 I number 2. And now we just have three mesh equations. Now we need to arrange the system of equation in here. So we have 2.2 plus 9.1. That is about 11.3 in, in here. So we put negative 18 go to the right. This one. That is about 
23.4 I number 2. This one minus 9.1. This one minus 6.8. This one we have negative 18. This one we calculate and that is about 10.1 I number 3. and negative 6.8 i number 2 we put number 3 go to the right we have negative number 3 and now we can use the calculator in here so we go to this one we go in here we put number 1 we select number 3 because we have 3 variables. So we put all the number going in here. Because this one use about kilo ohms, we know that if we want to find out, we need to use about u divided by r in here. If they use about kilo ohms, that means the value of i. That should be about milliampere in here because one kilo that is about one thousand. And if we if we divide by one thousand, you got about milli. So we have the value of I1, I2, and I number three in here. So we have one four two one. Negative zero point forty eight. And negative zero point sixty two. Now, we answer for question C. They want to find the current to the source. That means they want to find the current in here and here. So, if we look carefully, I number one and I number two, they are in the opposite. So, that means the first one. Uh, I will write about I A of the voltage A. That means this one in here. So we have I number one minus I number two because they are in the opposite. So we have one point twenty one minus negative zero point forty eight. So we calculate this one. So you got about 1.69. And the next one, IVB. 
that is this one in here so we can see that this only i number three This is the end. Thank you for watching.